making a distinction and letting them know that the Arab mix, because he said amalgamation means mixture. But brother, don't try to flip words, man. Okay, he was he was showing that the Arabian mixed Moors there now are not the original Moors. Bro. Yeah, let's read it, let's read it again since people want to play it dumb. Let's read it again since people want to play it dumb, right? When we have the stuff that we're reading. But more is a pedigree. Yeah, it's not it's not it's not people. We're we're, it's a we're it's reading a it right now. We're reading it. We're not going off the top of our head or whatever. We're reading what's actually in the book right now, page two o seven. I'm holding the book right now. I'm not assuming something. Now again, just who were the Moors? Not who were the Egyptians, not who were the, the tribe, who were the Moors? The answer is very easy. The original Moors, like the original Egyptians, were black Africans. He's telling you the same thing that the definition of Blackamore says. Black plus more. Blackamore. Any dark-skinned person, especially an African Negro, they took more off and started calling you black. And you fell for it because you don't study. And now you're talking about black people this and black people that and don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Because that's an adjective. Describing the more. The more is the identity. The more is the noun. Not black. Black is the adjective describing the noun. And then you're going to call yourself black. And then the world is going to call you minority. Because you're thinking like a minor. You're thinking like a child. And then you're going to be on this open platform. Which, is, which anybody in the world could listen to this. And they're hearing you be a reference point for our people, but you're thinking like a child. You're not talking for me. You're not, you're not my spokesman. I talk for myself. I don't need a lawyer. And I know that I'm a Moor because I lived as a Moor. I also lived as black and Negro and colored. I also lived as African. I also lived as Rastafarian and Nuwapian and Israelite. I also lived as dumb nigger and I guarantee you that I know what I'm talking about I guarantee you I know what I'm talking about so what I must say hope you really seeing that we are not just talking from much a point of view the brother brought to the book that you bring on the platform and his reference from that book so let's have a conversation that's healthy. No, I don't let's have left have a mind conversation from a minor point of view. And brother, you need to get away from the name African and black, whatever you want to determine yourself of because what we've established through our studies to the time now for you to be have any respect, because you could call yourself whatever name you want to call yourself, you know. But for you to have any respect in this world, this is the name that you need to look into and all the documents are there for you to understand why we're emphasizing on it. So we're gonna take and, some and, and, and we're gonna brother. we're gonna we're gonna say this too. We're gonna say this too. Because I've been on platforms, so I already know how it goes with trolls and agents and all that type of stuff. I have our, we have our own platform. I have a platform. That's right. I have my own Instagram where there'll be trolls in there trying to take away people's attention from what the hell we're supposed to be talking about. Bringing up their BS, about, their BS opinions about Mars. So based on his next message, we'll know if to listen to any other messages after that that he leaves based on the next message that you play from him. Because at this point, That's you should be riding with Moore's 100. Shouldn't even be debating anything. Sure. Just for the fact that I pulled the book off the shelf that you mentioned, you shouldn't be debating anything. If you're debating still, That's right. we know that you're a troll. We know you're a troll. And trolls are traitors too. Of course. Now you yield the floor on that. Islam, Islam, peace and but as you say, we're serious to stand in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Always, always we stand on the five in, principles. Always. All the, time, yeah, all the time, five points. So right, the brother. So we go to this next message. Chancellor Williams just said the original Moors was dark-skinned and black. The ones who committed crimes was dark This one. What other documentations can prove them wrong? 
all the people that research y'all books got it from their documentations, man. Y'all got to stop living in a fantasy like y'all ran into some secret... Okay, we're going to need to go and do some study. We've got a um, message from our brother Sheldon. We've got two more from Empress and Dictator. Let's get this one from our brother Sheldon. Give thanks. Peace, brother Mushrat. My question to you is, what does more mean then? If you're saying that, oh, we're not Moors and, you know, whatever, whatever, what does more mean? I'm asking you that question. Peace. So, brother Mushrat, we're still here. We give thanks for energy, but the conversation is good for what? You got two more messages. I'm not going to play them. So, if you can... Listen to the conversation that we're going to have in a few minutes. We're going to go over the top. Uh, we're going to finish at um, the top of the hour, so we really want to get to a proper, some proper context and some proper, you know, what I mean, food from this conversation. You know, so everybody can go. Away. And then all of this, all of this is relative. All, all of the stuff yes. that you just heard from from this individual calling in on this thing, what we've been talking about from the beginning, from 8 a.m. this morning, or 1 1 p.m. your time, right? Yes. Is, is the same stuff that we're talking about. The same issue. Yes. Our own, yes. our own, right? Not riding with the truth, going with the fiction. So we were talking about um, this, this um, um, loony and, and, and finance that, that Queen of Sheba yeah. is, is giving us and eco treaties and whatever, right? Yes. I found an article called Colonel Curry Exposes Lumi Scraps Currency Colonel from Circulation Curry. in Ocampo. Mm -hmm. Everybody know know who Richard Curry is? Yes, yes, I know the Colonel, yes. Oh you know you're familiar with him? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Colonel Ritchie, leader of the sovereign state of Akampong, has scrapped the controversial Lumi currency and stripped the note of any association with the Maroon village. Curry making the declaration on Twitter on Wednesday, March 3rd, added that Lumi will no longer be circulated or accepted in the territory of Akampong. Quote, On behalf of the Trelawney town Maroons of the sovereign state of Akampong, I declare that all matters regarding the Lumi currency in a compound be ceased with immediate effect. According to Curry, his executive action was taken to preserve the integrity of the debt-free status of a compound. Seeking to wipe the slate clean, he continued that it was his administrator's fiduciary duty to protect the public trust from any situation that could be detrimental to our body politic. The decision was made in light of numerous findings which noted that the Lumi had sizable foreign interests and shareholders, none of which were intended beneficiaries, the Maroon people themselves. Additionally, Curry disclosed that Timothy McPherson, the lead architect of the Lumi currency, holds two conflicting roles as governor of the Central Bank of Akampong as well as finance minister in the current government. The later, the latter of which is disputed. The architect of the Lumi currency holds a position as the governor of the central bank, while he claims to hold the position of finance minister in our current government. This is a conflict of interest, as McPherson Timothy personally, know, personally owns a majority interest share in the central bank according to documents prepared under Ferron Williams administration. There is no central bank in the world whereby the finance where, whereby the Minister of Finance of a government is the governor of the central bank at the same time, while in his personal capacity holds a majority interest share of the central bank's business. The newly elected Akampong chief explained that repeated requests for McPherson to explain what gives the loony any value, as well as figures to illustrate the costs to the state once the notes were printed in Canada and brought back for domestic use, were not sufficiently answered. Also, the issue of the loony printing plates not being controlled or filed by the Akampong government 
raised several security concerns over the likelihood of counterfeiting. The Lumi printing plates are not owned or stored by our government, which creates security issues for the state as it relates to the possibilities of counterfeit notes being produced. Furthermore, our government is not able to confirm who is regulating the printing of the Lumi notes to protect against the effects of inflation due to stimulus printing and distribution. Colonel Curry declaring McPherson's Bank Act contract null and void indicated that the document was neither agreed upon nor certified under the authority of the Compound Council. Therefore, this contract is constitutionally void and shall cease to exist. In a tweet on Thursday, Curry further reported that McPherson has been stripped of any legislative authority and no longer represents a, pong con a compong in any capacity. Effective immediately, Mr. Timothy McPherson, who was appointed Minister of Finance under Colonel Farron Williams, administration is no longer authorized to speak on behalf of the sovereign state of Akampong. The Lumi was launched 2017 by the Williams administration and had reported exchange rate of Jamaican 1200 to one solar note. And that was an article from Today. Our dot today. Beautiful, beautiful information. And we give thanks for the information here, brother. Two things I want to say to you also the Lumi, and at the moment, uh, we're talking on the show this strong website. It says the Akampong Maroon Solar Renaissance One Lumi Solar Bond. That's what's written on the dollar, the paper itself. Yes, so they still have that on it at the moment. And also, to just take to note, the brother, um, they're talking about, as the brother referred to, and he said he's coming from Banani. And we talk about this, he's saying Kojo is, is related to the colonel. So he's saying it's a long field between Kojo and Nani. I know he's um he's related to Nani. So Kojo is trying to to um to throw him off then coming from that old field between him and Nani because you know they said Kojo was the one that sold out the Maroon to the British mm -hmm. and Nani was the rebel as well. So he's kind of going on that vibration. But we have um, let's take this message. We've got um, a few messages here. I don't know if we've got the time. We'll go over there. I don't know if we've got time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I'm good for I'm good for now. I'm good for another, at least another half hour or so. All right. So you probably going another half an hour or so. All right. Hour, half past. So, so Stereo Street, welcome to the platform. And we say we want to rise up. El Hajj, Malik, El Shabazz, celebrating his very strong um, this, this week. I mean, this strong May the 19th. Let's take this tool from an empress on the platform, Alitete. Beautiful, um, and beautiful for us. Rise up, empress. Give thanks for your energy today. See, what bothers me is that the beautiful part of it is we all are starting to come, well, the awakened, they're coming to the real deep understandings of what have been is um, happening in the real um, actual you know history and presence of what's causing this and why we continue it and what is the reasons that we could change because we know better see the wrong and the horribleness of it but why do people angry that and try and get aggressive over what they don't think like why can't we love each other for who we are
Islam, Islam, Islam to the Moors in the building. Man, there's no need to get into that energy like the brother uh, Kujo, the uh, Grand Sheik said. That's, that time is done. Let the dead bury the dead. It's time to move forward. Peace and love. King Cooley, I'm in the building. Think you're muted. Listen, more. I want to. I had a question. What language do Moors come from? What language do a Moor, the, the word M O O R, comes from? That's what my question is. And by y'all not playing my other messages, y'all brothers already showed me y'all got dictatorship. When I do my show, I let people talk. I don't mute nobody, I don't block nobody. Y'all say y'all don't deal with emotions. When you do that, you're dealing with emotions. Okay? So that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna say this and then I'm jumping, bro. Cause y'all brothers are fake, bro. Y'all 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 try to manifest something, but y'all can't stand on it when somebody disagree with you. No, there's no there's no disagreeing with us. There's no disagreeing. You're either riding with us or you're a traitor. Because we're not wrong. Nothing we said today in the past two hours was wrong. Nothing. Zero. Nothing could be refuted as being wrong information, a lie, an untold truth, whatever. None of that. Everything that we said today could be backed up, actual, factual, do your research. You're going to find out everything that we said today is out there as information. So we're not the fake people. We're not the people telling you $7,000 for a package and then you're still going to their class to go listen to them talk BS to you. And the people who paid the $7,000, their, their, their car is still not discharged. Brother Coach, what we're going to do here, yeah? I'm saying he's not amateur and we should have the motion. Brother, first of all, yeah, my show now I'm going to go for two hours because I don't want to do um, one to three PM GMT time. But brother Kutz has got some more time. We've got half an hour left. Okay, so what you're saying, brother, we are here. We're trying to write. So you've got three messages. I didn't play. I'm going to play the three messages so we can hear what you're saying. And I'm going to ask brother Kutz to answer the question he asked. Where does the word more come from? Who invented the word more? Okay, so that's going to hear your message because we've got some more time. We've got um, half, half an hour. We've got 36, 35 minutes, actually. So it's in a platform of your conversation. And I'm sure after we finish, we can both learn something from this. Brother Kutz is saying, if you read on... Rise in the vibration of our nation and here for people. Let us all learn together. So, right, so we're going to play the three messages for the coach and then you can answer the question from our brother Mushrak. Give thanks. That's your nationality. You're Moorish. I'm not a Moor, bruh. I'm not from Morocco. You're Moorish, good brother. That's what he was making understood. You're Moorish. I'm not. You heard what I say? You're black. I'm brown, I'm reddish brown, I'm copper skinned. You're black, I'm copper. Get that in your head, brother. First of all, you can't, you shouldn't call the brother um, black because he does define himself that he's not black, so don't put No, and, and, he, and, he ju and he just defined me as being more. He just said I'm Moorish, and then he's going to say I'm black. Which one is it? Because people who talk yeah, like that are incompetent. Know. People who don't know what they're talking about, when they, but then they start talking, they're incompetent. Because they shouldn't be talking. Because they don't know what they're talking about. And the, and the other people who are playing idiots and rooting for them as if they're talking against what we're saying. He hasn't presented not one book reference to you. Only emotion. And the book reference that he did present, we used it to show you that even that author knows that we're Moors. He told you on here. It's not what it's not what we say. It's not what we say. This what this what he said. As amalgamation as amalgamation became more and more widespread, only the Berbers, Arabs, and coloreds in the Moroccan territories were called Moors. What are the Moroccan territories? The Moroccan territories are the Moroccan Empire which includes America. But people who don't study and who don't, who don't do any research 
are going to miss the actual factual points that, be are, that are being presented by their so-called black nigger leaders, that's going to free them. Because they're looking at everything emotionally because of some white man, black man, and all that type of, all that type of relationship, they have no idea what they're talking about because their perspective is wrong from the jump. So their thinking's going to be off. Their actions are going to be off if their thinking's off. If their actions are off, then they have nothing. Which is why you're supposed to have a nationality. Because the nationality grounds you. Dr. John Henry Clark, who are these people's scholar, told them, you're not Negro, black, or colored. People on the planet Earth have a nationality. That's John Henry Clark. He was alive when I was alive. He's from our time. And that's John Henry Clark. And, and, and with regard to John Henry Clark, we're also going to answer the question about what's, where the word more come from. M-O-O-R has absolutely nothing to do with it. Because Dr. Ben... Who, is, who has a Moorish doctorate, Dr. Ben, who all these people represent, and they love him and all that stuff, when he died, went to his funeral, carried his casket and all that, he has a Moorish doctorate. How come you're not debating Dr. Ben? How come Dr. Ben's not Moor? Well, he's not a Moor. He never said he's a Moor. Yeah, but he has a Moorish doctorate. He's from Ethiopia. He doesn't have an Ethiopian doctorate. Why does he have a Moorish one? Why doesn't he have an African doctorate? Why doesn't he have a Phoenician doctorate? Why doesn't he have an ancient Egyptian doctorate? Why doesn't he have a Cushite doctorate? Why doesn't he have a Hebrew Israelite doctorate? If those are the ancient people and that's who we are, why does he have a Moorish doctorate? You could play dumb with dumb people. Don't play dumb with Moors who study. Because we're not we're not the ones. Peace more, go ahead. As, as you said earlier on, and so we know it sometimes, you said our vibration when we brought up into a conversation. The brother was on the platform, Mushrock. He's not on the platform now, and that's why they want to play his message. So he's played the last message, and now he's not here to talk because he's making a conversation go. We don't want to talk about it. So No, no, all, true, all, of, all, of, all of it is relative. I know, because it right. brings out information. All of it is relative. All of it is relative. Yes. It, it would appear, okay. it would appear of... of um, you know what? what um, changing the energy of where the conversation was going, right? But you yes. even told the Moors that Allah guides this. That's right. We got, we got a message from my brother Shal. I said this message from my brother Shal, and I get back into the conversation. Give thanks to all the nobles and the nation that's on the platform with us as we rise our vibration, peace and love. Peace, but you see, this is the thing that you know our people need to consider. This is not to pick on Brother Mushrock or whatever, but Brother Mushrock brought up a book to make a point, and Kujo went to that book and showed in that book where it says that we're Moors, and to get that name back because it was taken away from us. And so from that point, like Brother Mush should actually be like, you know what, let me go back to that and find the book and exactly. read it and study it better, but instead he's arguing. Exactly. The book that you, that you called out, Joe has it, and he read from it. So, if anything, you should have been ready with that book to 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 contend. But this is the thing. This is where ego comes in. This is one thing our people, you know, need to consider. You know, not to pick on Brother Mushrock or anything, but that's just the clear that's example. That's our people. That's our people. Generally, that's our people. It's the same thing with with um, Kwame Brown calling out all these all these sports analyst people who they don't care about you they don't care about you or your community or whatever all they want is their ratings they don't care about you they don't care they're gonna push their narrative so you can go with the fraud and that's all they're concerned with and the problem is why are you so dumb to be following them into the precipice of the precipice off the precipice of hell you're following them and then complaining as you're falling into hell about the racism of the white man or whatever. The hell are you talking about? We do it to ourselves and then we don't want to take responsibility that we do it to ourselves. 
And when you have your brothers talking to you and telling you what it is, you want to debate something. You want to talk about people's tone. Why is your tone like that? You don't have to talk to our people like that or whatever. European call you nigger to your face and you don't do anything about it. So don't complain when we start talking to you and yelling at you or whatever because you, you want to be dumb. And you want to make nonsensical arguments as if, they're, as if they have sense. It's a nonsensical argument to call somebody black. I don't care if you're playing around with them. Because black's adjective. People aren't adjectives. It's simple as that. If you're playing around like, oh, it doesn't matter what we call ourselves and all that, you're incompetent. That's how the world's looking at you. That's how Moors look at our people. They're incompetent. That's why we can't unify. Because of them. Not because of us. And there's something to debate. There's nothing to debate. We're Moors. Everybody knows this. We're not debating when you hear people calling and then we're going back and forth. We're not, we're not debating with them. Like we said, you can go back into our YouTube page, 3,000 videos. Just pull up anybody's name who's around today with Canaan Land Moors and see what comes up. All these people, you name them, got called out for abandoning the people by not teaching them about nationality. I don't care what you want to teach about. You better be teaching them about Moorish nationality on top of what you're teaching them. If you're not, you're a traitor. Because nationality is our only salvation. International community came out and told you people international, everybody has a right to a nationality. Internationally, throughout the world, there shouldn't even be stateless people. If you have a right to a nationality, even a bum should be able to proclaim his nationality. How come he's not? And going back, going back to this thing that we were talking about, right? Going back to this thing that we are talking about, that these people playing this game about they're some sovereign whatever and they're, they're making deals with Canada to print finance or whatever when Jamaicans are the top Caribbean national in Canada prisons. How come the Queen of Sheba's not doing anything about that? But she's going to go make deals with Canada to try to make some make some fiat dollar when there's Jamaicans in Canada prisons right now? It's supposed to be part of the sixth region and diaspora. There's there's Jamaicans in Canada prison right now. They're not trying to get them out. Like Moors who are in Canada prisons, we at least have conversations with them. Whatever they're in there for. You know what I mean? They, they got themselves in there. Yes. All we could do is support you and, and, and give you moral support because you got yourself in there. I don't know, whatever you did to be in there, unfortunately, you're in there. And we'll support them. They get out, they connect back with us or whatever like that, and it ain't no big deal because they, they have to learn their lesson. You know, we at least have contact with them. We can show you letters right now that we got from Morris who's locked up. Do you know I mean? Saying, yes, we got the books that you sent. Thank you. We got the whatever that you sent. Oh, thanks for the paperwork. Or, th or some more from wherever sent me a letter just because you, you gave them the address or whatever. Thank you. Yes. Right? What are the, what, what, what's Queen of Sheba doing for these Jamaicans in prison right now in Canada who she's making deals with to, make, to, print, to, to print finance for some fake thing where the, the kernel of the of the Maroons saying the guy who's bringing you the, the finance, he's, he's a traitor. He doesn't have a position yes. in, in our thing. How's he talking about, how's a compound on the finance that they're going to create, but they have nothing to do with that? Mm -hmm. Fraud again. Fraud activities there. Somebody's playing a game. And again, we're going yeah. back, we're going back again. What is the Queen of Sheba? She has all this authority. She got connections like that to get a dollar made and all that stuff for the Jamaican people to be able to be their own sovereign, whatever, and all that. Okay, what are you doing about these Jamaicans in Canadian prisons? How about we'll start with everybody who, everybody Jamaican who was locked up for weed, since weed's legal. We'll start with those ones. 
What has she done for them? Since those are the easiest ones to deal with. Since weed's legal now, anybody who's Jamaican that's locked up, the Queen of Sheba should be able to use her clout that she got to be able to get printed stuff from Canada, banknotes printed, Canada bonds printed, or whatever. Canada's printing it. It's not a compound that's printing it. How's 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 it how is this how is this hold on a second? So Canada is a corporation, right? We know Canada's a corporation. They got United States and Security Commission. You can go look that up. CIK number zero 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 two three zero zero nine eight. And you can look up that Canada's a corporation and their business offices in Washington DC. It's not what we say. This is what United States and Security Exchange Commission says. That's what Canada is. And then some and indigenous start, maroons. Say again. It's 147 countries. I've looked into that information. And all the countries across the world, they're all corporations. Oh, okay. They're listed as corporations. Oh, all right. So, so, that, so that means they're a corporation, right? So anybody who's right. a member of that corporation isn't really a member. They're actually a product. Right. right, and then in, and then United States and Canada, they have that that thing where they ring the bell or whatever like that, and then the numbers on the wall, and people think about whatever like that. They just had the census. What do you think the census is? They're counting their property, especially since everybody's got their shot and stuff right now. Now they're definitely counting their property. That's right.
supposed to benefit from it right okay. how do people are, how do people are so, hold on before how do people are supposed to benefit from it is that they're supposed to have their nationality and their birthrights and the title to their vast estate acknowledged not only that but all the 400 years and all that BS or whatever we're owed 40 acres and a mule if we look at that to times of today Everybody who's that black, slave from Africa, whatever like that, supposed to have a million and at least a house with, with 40 acres on it. Everybody. That was, still, that was put on the side. They said they're not doing that because if they do that, then they're going to be broke. So they keep the stuff to their selfish self, keep us misclassified and playing this game like... Yeah, we're going to create the bank for the blacks and then the blacks could go to the bank. That's not a blacks bank. That's registered to the U.S. Corporation. Stop this. That's not owned by some black whatever. They're supposed to be given... What, what all these Queen of Sheba and all these people are supposed to be doing, if they got clout like that, they should be suing all these colonists for violating international law on a daily basis against the aboriginal and indigenous people of the planet if they were who they said that they are that's what they would be doing and then everybody would get their check in the mail you black yep okay here's your million and your house is based on your last name or whatever like that this is the jurisdiction where you can pick your land from if that if that's not happening if that's not happening don't tell me about some somebody's creating some some um, community center that this community center is where we're going to save all the people because we finally made it and we have that stop stop, stop the crap stop being distracted by what 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 the point is good 
rise up Nova Adams Bay, want to rise up Empress Renee, want to rise up Empress Yinka, and shout out to Alitete, Empress, we love you too, and to the question, we to our brother, shout out here, Empress Strong with us, and I want to rise up Empress Reese, Reese, Miss the Strong Empress, because you always here jumping to some gems. As you said, one thing people say, you know me, especially stop doing the study so much, you're at a level where, you know, I'm just kind of getting into that. And, you know, fortunately for me, I would say, um, with some of the people that still identify themselves as dumb Negroes and black and colored, and I'm grown brothers with yourself, you know, and emphasis that has no vibration, so I'm kind of in the middle of it, okay? And I'm looking at our people, what you're saying, how can the fiat help them? Um, we get in a community center, um, and blah, blah, blah. As we talked, we had a conversation before about the character. I'm looking at the situation we are in. If she's saying she's going to give you 10,000 US if you have a business, so are people are thinking about mm, money again, and she says she's going to give you 120 US every month just to join the Lumi. Um, I, I think the brother said you pay 120 pounds to join, and they give you back 50 or 60 pounds, half of it, in, back in Lumi, and then you get your money every month. So, so, what, so, what are so, 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 why are you paying? So, so, what? So why are you paying? So so why so why are you paying? If this is if this is for the liberation of our people, if this is for the liberation of our people, let me let me show you let me show you show you show you how. For example, if I could file a UCC, right, and get a get and get a get a get a bottomless account, right, with all the credit that I have, and I could discharge anything, right? What do I need that for? Okay. What 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 are what are they what are they giving me? that I can't already get myself. What are they really giving me? And they're telling me to pay up front so they can give me back something when they're, they're getting their stuff printed by Canada. So, you tell me that so they couldn't, okay, you, tell, you tell me that they didn't, they didn't in the deal that they made with Canada to get this stuff printed, they never put in the deal that this is reparations, you need to pay this, you need to create this for free. We're not paying you to make no finance for, for us. You're, you're doing it because you're a colonist. And you're violating international law. So don't tell me anything about these Asiatics who can't even find $5 to feed their children. They got to they gotta feed them roach cereal. Don't tell me that they got to find 120 notes for something. When you're, you're talking with Canada. You're, you're, you're upper echelon. You're Forbes list. You still got people paying for stuff? Stop this. Stop playing the victim stuff. You're, you're, you, we are owed in compounded interest, Noble Drew Ali said. We're owed in compounded interest. These people have a dollar note for our people to use and they're telling you pay so you can get it back? And nobody's not looking at that as treason? We, we got serious problems. Or whoever's dealing with that stuff got serious problems. The brother Kujo, what you're saying is so factual, and I'm not disagreeing with you one bit, bit yeah. So, what about the people that have done it, and they have got back the 10,000 US, and they have got the 100 and something pound every month, so the 100 pound, on what they pay, 120 pound, they got that plus. It, it, it has improved their life, to say, for example, where they can take some money and open a community center, we can get some computers in there. We can start teaching our people more. We start giving them more knowledge. What if they're doing this to create a nation and awareness to the people to get them comfortable? So by the time they want to, all these people are comfortable. What you're saying, they have they have a nation of people to to back them. What's what's what if that's a long term plan? I'm just saying. I'm not sure if that's factual. If there is there long term plan, let's take. If there. Let's take, let's take, let's take, let's take, Yes, I'm all sure, and then we get back to the conversation. Rise up, and let's give thanks for your interjection. Grateful to have you on the platform. Ashe, 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 give thanks, Brother Icon Bay, Brother Kuja L. Exactly. I'm thinking, you know, with what's going on with the Lumi, okay, it appears to be a great idea, but what about reparations? How come reparations has not been addressed? What's going to happen to repair the people's minds and, you know, repair our situation, our living situation in the lands that we domicile at? Yeah. I've got questions about Lumi. Right. So, Brother Kojo, definitely, right up the Empress there, beautiful gems there. So, Brother, 
you establish everything that's so factual and you're saying we're supposed to get a, a 10, or 10 acres and a meal, we haven't got that yet. This is one of the first things they should have put on the table, they haven't done that yet. So I'm wondering if they're trying to bring a greater volume of people and they think it's the only way to do it. So by the time they want to enforce that, they got a great nation voice, but the only way they think they can get to our people is to some. It's some not, some. it's not, it's not, if they, okay, let's say, okay, let's just Enjoy say, me. let's just say, <laughs> let's just say, um, in, what is it right now? No, 22nd? Into... You hear me? Say, repeat that. Would you repeat that again? Because you break up just now. Yeah, repeat that again. Give thanks. All right. Um, it's the 22nd right now. Let's say by the 22nd of June, they have um, 5 million people that... Brother Pujo? Yo. Brother Pujo? Yeah. You was breaking a while ago. So can you repeat what you said? Shout out to say what you say what now. It's still breaking up? Yeah, you're clear now, brother. Go ahead now. Make your point. Start from the beginning again. Give thanks. You know what I'm saying? It's the 22nd of May today. If by the 22nd of yes. June, they gather up 5 million people who all signed on to this thing, right? If all those 5 million people signed on to this thing as Negro, Black, Colored, and Jamaican, and all this other fiction, this stuff doesn't mean a damn thing. It's no different than the fiat that's out there right now, that these people are using right now. So why not just use your connections and get these people their fiat since you're with the printing people? They're talking, how come they're not talking to the printing people to print up the reparations money? Forget printing some finance for us to have to say we're a nation. Print up the reparations money and give everybody a check for, for, for 100 grand. If you don't want to give a million, fine. If you don't want to give a million, fine. You should be able to print enough that every single individual whether they call themselves Moors, Hebrew Israelite, Nation Islam, whatever, they can send in their identification card for whatever it is, organization that they belong to, and they get a check, 100,000, whatever name it is that they want. Because they're owed that. We're not even giving them the compounded interest. We're just saying what's owed to everybody. Who's claiming to be, they've been struggling for 400 years of the whatever. Anybody who's in that, all right, fine. Here's your hundred thousand. And everybody got their stuff that they got to sign it and send back to show that they got their check. And now we can talk about, all right, 30% of your hundred thousand has to go back into the community from everybody. And now we're doing things for ourselves. On top of that, we have all these different schools of thought amongst us who have all these different levels of information or whatever like that. But we're doing it under a nationality as Moors. We're not doing that as black. We're not doing that as indigenous people. We're not doing that as autochthonous aboriginals, turtle islanders, Indians. We're not doing it as any of that. We're doing it as Moors. Because the, the last name that we fell as was that. All over the planet, that's the last name we fell as to the point where there's Moros in the Filipino, in Philippines today fighting for their right to be Moors and not Filipinos. Because that puts them under the jurisdiction of Philip. That they don't want to be under his jurisdiction. That's a corpse. Mm -hmm. Where the, where, where, where the right. Palestinians, who they know they're the ancient Canaanites, are fighting right now. Because people want to classify them as, as, as you know, Israeli. This is not Israel. This is Palestine. We're not Israeli. We don't care what you guys did on a map. We're, we're right here in front of your face right now. We're Palestinian. What are you guys talking about? What do you mean we're not here anymore? And while the, the situation happening there right now is not like we are even liking it, but 
you know, the people in this place, the, the people in my the poor people that they are fighting now are not even the people of the land, and that's why there's so much bloodshed right there in that land, you know what I mean? Because it's a sacred place, and they went and took it over and created all kind of mad madness. Yeah, did madness with it. Yeah. Did madness with it. Did right for years. Yep. Those are two nations, right for years. Same, th th same thing that we're saying in America. That we're the rightful heirs. We're not Negro, black, colored. We're Moors. Juali said that we're supposed to get paid the compounded interest from you people. So we're riding with that. Because we know, the, we know our people, the Moors, and the obligations Europeans have to the Moors for bringing them out of darkness into light. They're obligated to assist us. But they're not going to go talk, tell them, print up our reparations. They're going to tell you, print up some, some, a compound currency, whatever, which is not even legit. They're not even the compound people. Their fiction just came yesterday. Where'd she come from? All of a sudden, she's the lion of the whatever. Just like that. She's lion of the first last year's mom. Just like that. Where, where, was, where was she? Where was she? Yeah. Where was she in, in the 60s? What was she doing in the 60s? <laughs> uh, 70s, the 90s, or you could say 80s, 90s. Well, 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 what, 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 line, what line was she, uh, was, was she in, in the 90s and 2000s? When did she get brought to the yeah, throne of the whatever? Day. All of a sudden she's Sheba, when everybody knows that that's Arabic and that's, that, that's Saba? Mm -hmm. How? Yes. How is, how is it that, how is it that South Arabian, that's Saba, Arabic, that's Saba, Giz, that's Saba, and it's easy to tell you Sheba. Mm -hmm. But you're from the line of Hali Selassie and all that stuff, you're talking about Sheba? Should you be saying Saba? Well, why would you not say Saba? Why are you saying Sheba? Are you saying that the people are dumb and they don't know anything? Etymology of words again. Etymology of words again, brother. If they're going to use the fiction word, if they're going to call you black and not Moors, you should be questioning those people. Just like if, yes. if they're going to call themselves Sheba, not Saba, if they're going to tell you about Osiris and not Asar, you better be questioning these people. Are we're we're going to tell you about, about ISIS, not a set. You better be checking these people. Who the hell is ISIS? An, Af an African al Kabilan again. Yeah, yeah. you tell me about Africa, not al Kabilan. You need to check these people. What are you talking about Africa? Nobody African around here, and you never heard anybody called al, al Kabilanian. Mm -hmm. Because that's a continent, and people aren't continents. No, the Al Kabbalanian. Why? That's a continent. The hell does that have to do with people? Yeah, yeah it's come from a tribe, exactly. Not some tribe, sorry. You have to come from a, from a, from a, from a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just with me. Pedigree. That's it. Yeah. Because you don't do tribes. Pedigree. Right. Exactly. Bloodline. Exactly. Rise up, Aisha, the vibes. Welcome to the platform. Press. Rise up. Rise up, Ali Tete. Say what's now, rise up, rise up, okay. So, Brother Kujo, I have um, looked into these two words. First of Messiah, we call it over here. Mm -hmm. and, uh, first of all, we call it the Reparation March. We, are, um, we march from Brixton to the House of Parliament to present a petition, to petition reparation, right? And I've looked into these two words, reparation and, and uh, restoration. No, before, before that, you should also look up petition. Yes, I know what petition means. So yeah. That's why I so, the conversation. so you know the the fact that we're petitioning already cancels the reparation. Mm -hmm. It's just a blocko, a conscious blocko, and after that everybody's gonna go home and get nothing, hands hands empty. But they just spent all that finance to go to the spot, to go eat something. They got they that shoes, they bust their shoes because they they're marching up and down the place. <laughs> right. Of course, they went and bought some shirts and some pants and whatever like that. They gotta look fly and shit at the at the march. You know what I mean? You gotta bring all their African kente yeah. stuff and all that. And yeah, bring your day, your food for the day, your buy your food for 
and right. they, yeah. they never been the family out back up. Right, so it's, a, fa- it's a, family aff- a family affair to go march and then get to the end of the line and there's no check. And then you just go back home after you spent all that finance that you could have probably put to your own reparations all the years that we're marching up and down the place. All the finance that everybody spent to go everywhere, what if they stayed home and they just put that finance in a pot? Yeah, we're going to go march on whatever. It's going to cost you this much, but send your money to this one account. Don't go buy a plane ticket. Don't go whatever. Just if you're gonna, if you're down for the million man march, then put the finance that you would have spent in this pot over here. Let's and we'll, okay. and let's do place. some stuff for ourselves. But no, yes. we don't want to do that. So and then and then when we don't want to do that, the other alternative is press these people who colonized you for the finance. <coughs> Yes. Now you gotta pay. Then if you're gonna pay, you gotta pay. Use your black power or whatever like that to get these people to start printing up these checks for all these dark skinned people who've been disenfranchised and marginalized for generations. Give them their forty acres and a mule. You got yours. You got yours. You got five hundred mules. You're not even giving a mule off. Mm-hmm. Just five hundred mules. Papers. They, 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 right. all them, they got all those mules and those mules can't even procreate. It's a fucking mule. Mm-hmm. They can't procreate. The petition literally means in a box to beg, you know. So oh, okay. Somebody something, they, oh, so. Yes or no. All right. So, but yeah, you were going reparation and restoration. Yeah, let's, we got four messages here. But I want you to break down on reparation and restoration. And if... We even in reparation if it's if it even makes sense to the reparation or should we be going for restoration? Okay, so let's stay with the four messages here. Let's take these messages right up to Empress. Um oh sure, right up welcome to the platform Empress. Peace and love, peace and love. Okay, again, see I was actually wondering about this. I need to do some more research into in the sheep as lineage because from my knowledge of what I know, Queen Diambi her Royal Highness, Queen Diambe of the Congo, yeah, the queen of the leopard cloth, right? The leopard skin, sorry. She is the queen. Uh, there's just some things that just don't really seem right with a lot of what's going on around the enemy. But more research, more research, let's be nice. Definitely, and the alarms blends are ringing us, you know, but the water is still in certain signs. You can know that people are going to start up on a fraudulent activity. You can know that they are yeah. fraudulent. Yeah, and, and just as the Empress brought that up too, just just also remember, also, Makeda and Bilkis is also Saba. How come she didn't say that she's them? Why'd you say Sheba? Mm-hmm. Why'd she come out as Bilkis or Makeda? Why Sheba? Why that? Why Why the fiction? Why not the organic? Why the grapes without the seeds? Yeah. Yes. And even that word again, the queen. You know, we know what queen means. And even and that. The queen means art. I, well, I, didn't you know even, I didn't even want to go there. Because <laughs> that one gets me upset. You have to be part of it. That's standing. Yeah, that one gets me upset. Because they say it proud too. You know what I mean? They say it proud. They're the queen. Do you, do you look up queen? You better go look queen up. Look up the etymology of queen. And see if you still want people to call you queen. And they'll let you do it. We're not even going to say it. You go do it. You go do your research on the etymology of queen. And then while you're doing that, do your research on the etymology of kid. And then stop calling your children kids. Because they're, they're setting you up to fail. That's right. They're setting you up to fail. And then you're falling for the setup. And they always do it through through your own. Presenting your own to you as some savior of whatever. People have no intentions of saving you. That's right. That's right. No intentions of saving you. They're all about saving their self. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, but th- but then again, that's why that's why the whole point is to unify. Get your nationality in order, that you're a Moor, and then unify with other Moors and help get some stuff done. 
you think us in Canaan land, it was, it was 80 people when we started? When we started, it was two people for like a year. Just me, just me and the more. Just in the room, watching DVDs. Because we set up the thing, teach the people this information. They're not coming, because they don't, they don't want to know what this is. Alright, then we'll just, we'll just study this we... by ourselves. Yeah. And then, what? 12 years later, we got Moors, Moors all over the, all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's not from some perspective of, 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 of some group or some organization. We're, we're just bringing our people the, 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 the knowledge of their nation so they can feel, so they can feel like somebody again. You know what I mean? so much power you, you, you know you, the way you, you, you came into this knowledge yeah you did it in the most powerful thing the, the most powerful um, word our, our, our prophet left Islam I self law master you stood you're saying you described it was your other brother in there by yourself and the, took information and studied you were influenced by nobody or nobody wasn't telling you anything for you to write or people telling you actually the knowledge yourself and that's when you can be the most powerful version of yourself because you went in to your greater self. We got three messages from my brother um Sheldon as I say in the yeah. show. This show is very beautiful. We went to Yeah I'm good if you're us. if you're if you need an extra an extra time I'm good still. Everything's alright. We'll keep the yeah, vibes Yeah we'll keep the vibes going. We'll keep the vibes going. One of them it's one of them ones yeah. today. I, I send you um a, 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 a link you know to, to add did you take it on, on WhatsApp did you take it for on what? to um, I don't know if you want. Huh? On WhatsApp? Oh, oh, um, um, yeah, I saw the thing, but I didn't even, I didn't even go, go to it to check it out like that. But I'll take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if it, we can it with audio, and I got one for Brother Sheldon also, because when you, when, if, when you, when you do it, you're going to get three more. Yeah. You're going to get three too, see, because you know we're talking about that show, because the information we're giving the people is true, we should have people subscribing to, you know, a conversation, not to say we're kind of running, but you know, we kind of need to look to, to create something that we can, you know, help. We are so more. No, so this, but this I is what. To yeah, but this is this is what I was saying that that the whole that whole concept, right? We've uh, we've already been emulating that for the past ten years. We got members; they pay their dues. You know what I mean? So we're not we're not looking at it like we need it like that. We're looking at it fund your stuff. Yeah. Because you're thing. you're in your yeah you're in a jurisdiction where it costs to print shit or whatever you know what I mean it costs for for to, to rent a space or something you know yeah. what I mean right so the 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 whole the whole subscribing and and whatever is not like you know we're pe people are burning candles at the both end yeah. you know what I mean we we ain't looking at finance like that. If somebody's really game, you're, they're going to come and drop five grand on us. We'll be good for two months. Yeah. Right? Like, it's not, it's not, you know, but the, 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 the idea of the support and the whatever, what, how we're looking at it is you need, you need, you need it in your jurisdiction too. Yes. So why are we gonna siphon off of your stuff when it could just go to you to build your stuff? We already got our stuff built. We're established ten years. So, so brother, you know look, what I mean? look, look over to look over to get it now because what you're saying is beautiful. But I want you want brother Sheldon to uh, monetize definitely because I looked into it. All could work, and I say you're gonna get three. So you're gonna you're gonna get, get six here. Yeah? You can either send me another two if you're not gonna use it. On my shows, I could use it as a gift, you know, what I mean to give to other people, because other people use it. And also, if you, if you, when you monetize here, yeah, whatever you get, you can either put it in, we can put it into a pot like we have the, the more um, platform right now. We could use that to also help because you can turn that into funds. No, but this, you know what I mean? I saying, which but this is what we're saying. We opposed to opposed yeah. to all these different channels, right? Just yeah. direct the one channel to. To where it's supposed to go, cause it's gonna go there anyways. It's like Drew Ali said. It's, gonna go the, the, it's like Drew, Drew Ali said. If if you don't give me your finance, I'm gonna get it anyways. It's gonna go there. But why why not um, take as much as we can? Because if I'm saying if we can create some here. No, but it, but it's but it's not as much it's not as much as we can because it's it's just siphoned. Yeah. 
yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. it's 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 it the 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 different people that are saying give finance, give finance, give finance, right? It's not like it's um it's 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 a bottomless pit. Right, it's a bottomless pit. We know, we know. Right, I, I like, the, like it's the there. The fi fi people, people, people spend finance on on bottles cost eight hundred. That's just for that's just for a half hour. The bottle's done in a half hour. You spend eight hundred. Mm -hmm. Right, so don't look at it like 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 um um we. We have to get finance, or what we have to do is get the word out to the people, so their concepts could change. Because them having misconcepts, their finance is useless, anyways. Yeah, to give them ten million is gonna go tomorrow. Where do you think yeah. ten million is gonna go? You give these people reparations. Going back right. to the thing again right. of why why they don't get it. Lose the lights. Yeah, because they're incompetent. Yeah, I see what you're saying, but it's, 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 it's knowing that's it's the most important thing about everything else. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you're but, the, the, and, and because the prior because the, the 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 priorities are out of order, the um the outcome is out of order and imbalanced and, and whatever. Because the bottom line is you're not giving reparations to a slave. Simple as that. That's why people haven't gotten it because they're a slave. You don't got a nationality. What are they giving you reparations for? To do what? Give it right back to them. Why give it to you then? If we're gonna give you the fifty million and then you're gonna give it right back to us, why why should we give it to you? You know what I mean? And that, that's 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 your, I, I know with our nation at the moment. You know, into the minor state. Let's say this stream from Brother Sheldon. They've been there for a while, get our brother interjects in the conversation, right? So Brother Sheldon, give thanks for your gems each and every time. Peace I can be, not tribe but ethnic group. Ethnic group, okay. Exactly, for bloodline. Peace, for reparations, we have to repatriate back to our ancient ancestors. So technically, there can't be reparations without uh, repatriation. <laughs> Did I say that right? <laughs> say the state of mind of our people recognize what that state of mind is if somebody's a zombie if somebody's um, a mental slave you don't want those people around you those people are destructive they're not for building humanity they're for destroying humanity a vampire 
Vampires not for humanity. As vampires for their selfish self. They just want blood. Nobody else can't get blood. They suck everybody. Right? So when you look at the mind state of our people, the mind state of our people, if it's based in zombieism, there's no turning them back from a zombie. Just go look at a zombie movie. You find me one zombie they brought back to, to being real. Un-zombie. No one. No one. Not one zombie they brought back. So certain zombies, right, get get um, um, naturalized into their zombieism where they think that's who they are. That's, that's a reality to them, being a zombie. Right? Their reality is being a fiction. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It, it, you know, when I talk about the Moors, yeah, and people kind of trying to run away and say, who's the Moors? Where are you getting these Moors from? Where does Moors come from? Moors are important for people. And then if, if, you, if, they, if you take them down the, the African history, according to them, yeah, the narrative of the African history, yeah, they will tell you about the Moabites. Mm-hmm. And but from there they're talking about the Maroons. Why they didn't call it Port Maroon? They call it Port Moor. You know what I mean? And you're talking about Moor Town. Why didn't call it Maroon Town? You know what I mean? And these little things that our ancestors left for us to even look at, it's like we just we just brush it on the cover. Most of our people just kind of figure that way and think, no, jump back to what the white man is saying or what the white man said. You know, even the brother brought what the Dutch, the Dutch doctrine and the Dutch documented. And I'm thinking, brother, you're not even listening or looking at what we're saying because we are showing you something that the ancestors leave for us. And they leave all the signs for you to look into it. And because you didn't the knowledge of studied who or what, where the Moors come from, you're going to think of something new. And there's so much ancient words that you can look into Almarok. You know, you're talking about, you're talking about, um, you, 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 you just you even talk about um, Morocco. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not even looking into that. You know, we're talking about um, the base. There's so much places in the world that's got the base, and you see this name, and then it's still you would probably take on White or John or Smith, and you cuss out everything, you know, you're connecting it to the nature, natural sound that you mm-hmm. are in. You know, mm-hmm. saying, you know, people in this zombified mode, it's like, it's talking to a dead horse. So you're talking to a dead horse. Brothers and brothers, Sheldon L. Look at our mother, our message from brothers, Sheldon L. To a conversation, they should give thanks to all those parts of the platform. It's a weekly Q and A question and answer. More or less, I'm talking about M O O R. Does it matter if you say we're black or white or yellow? Is there a cut of flaw, color of flaw? The week Q and A. We normally run for two hours, one to three p.m. But this strong we are going in because the vibration is here and we're learning as we rise our nation. Give thanks, peace and love, brother. And to Kujo's point about vampires, from the Icon Bay, you, you know, you just experienced that with, you know, that that other more that was. That was dealing with the, the finance. Like, he didn't just pop up. He knows what he's doing. And he knows what he's doing is wrong. But he's still doing it. So people like that, you can't really change their mindset. So the idea of if we all unify and if we all unify and so on and so forth, it's not going to happen. That's a, that's a dream. That's a dream state. Because if you have certain wars doing certain things that they know are wrong, their mindset is going to change. You can't convince them to change, right? So this is this is where that the whole idea of oh unify, unify. There's only there's certain people that you just can't unify. That's just the way it is. Yep. Yeah. What a shot. And what a cool to you know. And that was one of the biggest shocks for me. You know what I mean? Rise up to Ali Tete, rise up to Empress Oshun, rise up to Tonya, Tonya Garrison, rise up Empress, welcome to the show. The biggest struggle for me when I am um, getting to knowledge of the Moors and joined the class and then was there and there was so much great minds in the class. I mean, some information and some knowledge I got from some of the students in the class because they wanted to help us on our journey. And, you know, they're talking about these books, when we read books and we can talk about numbers and the stars and the universe and mm-hmm. thinking, wow, and the best place that could ever be in the world. And then, you know, when situations are happening and, and I start realizing, but, you know, they're, they're all those humans, like, 
you know, I thought with them having this knowledge, they would have moved different. I could see the lower self coming, I could see the ego, I could see the hate, I could see the covetous, I could see the bad mind, I could see the grudge. You know, and then regards to the, um, the brother there, with the knowledge that he has and the thing that he's teaching, and then to see him kind of doing certain things, he may come to the reality that, you know what, people can get information in about, and people can be, they could read maybe a thousand or a million. But the most important thing is what you take from it and what you do with it and how you live with what the information that you learn. And it's something that had to come to give it very quickly. As they say, being on this platform, you talk to some people with knowledge, and it's quickly for you to kind of think, wow, this person is so right. And if you reach up there, liberty, you can see it's totally different from what they're saying that they're doing. You know, and they would use ignorance and ego more than try to be having a conversation with you and actually research and go to some facts and even be mad enough to say, you know what, brother, I was wrong, he was right. And that's all it takes sometimes. I will move on. Because it's not a matter of me trying to be Mr. Right all the time. Is that we check the facts and if you come to a conclusion, that's when you should be in the eyes of and say, you know what, I learned something, move on. I've learned something new today and I can take that with me to change my life. And that's yeah. how it is. Yep. And, and if, even on that too, like when, when we came into consciousness, we used to have we used to have a list. This is the this is the nineties. We used to have a list of all the people who we messed up or whatever did BS to, to go back and repent for your sins. You know what I mean? People that you did dumb stuff to. You know, mess their life up. You know, we had to correct the karmic debt before moving forward. That was like Nazarite vow stuff that we were doing. Because you're taking you're you're taking on a new a whole new new existence. You know what I mean? That's part of the emetic principle. Yeah. You know, cause and effect, you know, so. Yeah. You know what I mean? What goes around come. If you, yeah. do, if you do something, but you correct it, then you know, goodness will come back to you. Definitely. You're going to get Rise it back. To it. Yeah. Rise up to Joe and the River Rest Company platform. So, should we close up at the top of the hour, brother Pujo? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah we could do that. Yeah, we could do that. Definitely. Everyone on the platform, right here, each and every Saturday from 1 to 3. We're going over a three-hour show today. Maybe it's just a little bit some time, probably, on the show because we're saying it's important for us to gain knowledge. The situation that we are in, you know, established that we're all at different places. But in just in Brother Kujo, I, I would leave, you know, I don't, why I call this conversation. We started off talking about the Lumian, talking about the yeah, constitution yeah. and tree. Mm-hmm. My, my idea is... It's dangerous for people to have so much money in their hands. But um, if we can start creating more platforms of school of knowledge and um, incorporate some type of way where they can be, they can have some 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 ways so they can get some substance. I think it's a move forward because this is where they're bringing these things, like the Lumi and the, the crypto and all these things, because they know where people are hungry for fiat. Yeah. They offer them that they oh, oh, and that was that was another thing. Them. That was another thing too that I was checking yes. out. That when you're talking about about them giving up the finance and then then you get the ten grand or whatever and and whatever whatever, right? That's a loan. Not giving you nothing. Whether whether there's interest in on, on it or not, why is it a loan? Yeah. This should be reparations. Yeah. You're printing it. You know what I mean? Right? Give us our reparations. Like, how, how about this? How about this? Um, they're going to print up how much ever is needed for everybody to be comfortable. And then they're going to they're gonna go to the international community and go on the UN floor and address all of them that this is now our currency that everybody has to accept in order to get it circulating. Right, because 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 our it's our currency, right? We have our own central bank and all that stuff, so we don't need any Europeans for anything, right? Everybody starts off at the top. At the top, everybody starts off with their forty acres and a mule equivalent to today. Yes. Right, 
and and then and then that finance that we have that check that we get in the loony we can take that anywhere and use it and then that currency becomes part of the currency just like if somebody brought in brought in a a, a, a US note and put it down and they're going to accept it okay accept our stuff like that off the top, we're not saying waiting five years, 2065 and all this, that's when our stuff is going to be implemented. Forget all this. Stop the BS. We need the stuff right now. We're back owed for this. Everybody else got reparations. So camera, you know, with the, with the, with the, with the thing, uh, situation like that, yes, um, with a Pucho, yeah? Mm. If we are, what you, what you just described is, is so beautiful. What to do we need another proposal to show from someone else? Yeah, we can do job. another. Yeah. Exactly like what you described. Is it going to be a unified thing for all of our people? What they want to call themselves? Moors, Black, African, whatever. Is a voice that we have to all agree to and say this we're going to put out. We're going to affirm so we're going to declare this. And we're going to get ourselves in a process of getting what we need to do so we can get our money print or sovereign money and said it's our money or putting it in the market is that is that something that we need to be looking at to do no that that's that's something that has to be set up by the colonists all we're doing is walking into it that's not something we're doing if if how how how, how you're how you're talking colonists has to do that we're not doing that unless our own black brothers and sisters who are on Forbes list get a pot together, put all the finance that they got in it, they keep their whatever portion for their self that they need, and everything else that they got goes into the pot to be distributed amongst all the other people who are supposed to have that too. To create our own, our own fiat money or to, to put it in their account? To create our own fiat money. To create our right. own thing that we're doing. That is only going to be right. done either by the people who have fiat money already that look like us. Mm -hmm. And they distribute the wealth. Instead of playing selfish with their, you know, them and their 12 house, 1500 acre castle. And just them live there. Either they spread the wealth or the colonists, who knows that he's a colonist pays back for all the wrong that they did in finance mm -hmm. is how we're going to have that That's what, right give thanks brother we got two messages from our brother Sheldon let's take these two messages and we're to yeah. our, give thanks to everyone peace and, peace and I think what is not clear is that when Kujo is saying they're printing the funds that means that it's not backed by anything so it's just like you going to a photocopy they're printing money over and over and over and over and over again to get more money. So the fact that they're printing it means that you shouldn't have to pay anything to it because they're printing it. They can print out as much as they want. You know, the, that's how these, these, these uh, corporations control the interest rates and, and fluctuation in the market and all that stuff is they decide not to print X, X, amount, of, X amount of funds. And then so funds become scarce right and then you know inflation and stuff rises like that and then when you print right. a lot of stuff then the money's not worth anything right so if, if you're printing it people shouldn't have to pay just print the money hey peace brother icon um i'm also here so if you want to if you want to build a little bit for like another 20 minutes or 30 minutes i'm here so you can just connect me or whatever because i'm here chilling outside at the park enjoying the sun Please. Definitely, I'm about to shut down. Yeah, we're running the alpha because I want to um get familiar the platform with you because I definitely need you. I mean, to jump on the show sometime, we can have a conversation about the culture because this is what's all about putting the rise and the vibration of our people. And that's so that's true, that's so true, brother. And and this is what we need to look at too. But as I was saying, in the long term, I don't know if that's our plan to pull the people, pull our people in. And then try to say, you know what, okay, but we have enough people now because we feed them this real currency. It's in, it's in circulation. All right, now we can argue our points at the UN or wherever we need to argue it. That's long term, but that's everything that we have established on this platform today. 
it's done in fraud, it's not done the right way, and it's kind of putting back everything into the corporation. So it's an area we need to look into. Yeah. A beautiful conversation. You know? Great build. Yeah. Great build, brother. So we definitely can see the show extending and give thanks to everyone who passed through on our platform. Peace and so love. Brother Pujo, um, preparing a show in June as a tier next week or two. Yeah. And I'll let you know the date and we just get an interview on the radio because it's definitely time for you to jump on the platform. Yeah, yeah. Definitely looking for so I'm going to play this outro track and then I'm going to connect with our brother um, Sheldon and continue on the conversation for another half an hour. Yeah, get into a vibration. So we give thanks for your vibration to the brother. And the last give time, man. Yo, show. just, you know, keep, keep, keep studying and keep trying to find more out there who are competent. Connect with them and help them do greater work than they're doing already. And I leave that with peace. Peace and love, brother. Peace and love. Give thanks. So we're going to play this track. It's called I Am On More. On the sea of our brother, Ian Cheek. So they say, log on to willofallow.com. Definitely can get some beautiful information there and some very high vibrational, more issue people music. So log on to this one. It's called I Am On More.